thoughts. First light optics. I wonder what it can be. Helios Hirvana ES four millimeter. Oh, that's the Nirvana Skywatcher OVL Nirvana. That's equal to Nagler. It's four millimeter one. I have now sixteen and seven, and now the four millimeter. Let's open it and see. Bit tough needs to hand. Eyepiece. Oh, finally, I have this four millimeter. I have the Teleview Nagler five millimeter, but I felt that I need something a little bit more powerful, lightweight. I have the three and a half millimeter and five millimeter, uh, 70 degrees Pentax XW, but I wanted something light, and that is the one that is the ultimate. This is the Nirvana 4mm Skywatcher Nirvana Helios OVL 4mm eyepiece. Let's see how it looks viewed through this telescope. It's 82 degrees eyepiece. Oh, stunning. It's a very high power eyepiece, and I'm really amazed by the detail I can see here. The shaking is by my heartbeat, actually. And it magnifies it uh, it's probably around 200 times stunning view beautiful color fidelity that's really high power 750 millimeter is the uh, yeah 600 millimeter is the uh, Focal left of the telescope. This is eyepiece is four millimeters, so 600 divided by four, 150 times magnification. Really good, really good. And if I use a Barlow, I can increase it to 300. Double it. This is the Nirvana 4mm, Skywatcher Nirvana Helios OVL 4mm eyepiece. Let's see how it looks viewed through this telescope. It's 82 degrees eyepiece. Oh, stunning. It's a very high power eyepiece, and I'm really amazed by the detail I can see here. The shaking is by my heartbeat, actually. And it magnifies it uh, it's probably around 200 times. Stunning view, beautiful color, 
fidelity. That's really high power. 750 millimeter is the yeah, 600 millimeter is the focal length of the telescope. This is eyepiece is four millimeter, so 600 divided by four, 150 times magnification. Really good, really good. And if I use a barlow, I can increase it to 300. Double it.